I think it's one of the most bizarre and powerful phone calls I've ever received. I was at work and the phone went and the lady said, it's Penelope here from DKMS. I just wanted to let you know that you are a match for somebody on our register who currently has blood cancer. And honestly, it was a really emotional but quite heart-stopping moment because at that moment, you discover that actually you are a lifeline in waiting for someone you've potentially been put on notice that you could save a life. My name's Julie McDonald. I'm a journalist and broadcaster. I'm a mum of two little girls. And very recently, I also became a stem cell donor. Once you've had the phone call to say that you are a potential match for someone, you will go through a series of tests to determine whether your tissue type matches the person who has blood cancer. There were a huge number of emotions attached to that for me because I just really thought the entire time that somebody out there could be a mum, could be a dad, could, could be somebody's child and um, that really, really needs you to step up and to offer up this part of your body that's going to help their immune system to to, to fight. So there's quite a few tests involved, um, but nothing a hot chocolate can't take care of. When the nurse came to my house before the donation to give me the injections that help put the stem cells out into your bloodstream where they can be harvested, my kids thought it was absolutely hilarious. They were really excited to see her give me the injections. They were jumping on the bed. They were saying, oh, can we do that again? Um, so although those injections can make you feel a little bit groggy for a couple of days, you pretty quickly recover. So when you go into a hospital, you're literally sitting on a big chair. Sometimes I think it's a bed. You get hooked up to the machine. In my case, they were a little bit worried that my blood pressure wouldn't sustain um, in order to keep the blood going around, but it was completely painless. You can see in the footage that I'm just lying there with my feet up, had a little bit of a snooze. So essentially you're sitting in this chair or you're lying down for six or seven hours and you're doing that to save a life. Interestingly, next to me, there was a gentleman of a certain age and he was having a treatment with his own stem cells. And he looked at me and he said, you know, if this doesn't work for me, sorry, I'm getting really emotional. I'm gonna need to find a you. And I think that's when it comes home to you that actually um, donating your stem cells is about giving people a chance to, to live and love another day. I think it's what everybody wants to do, isn't it? Is to, walk the dog, feel the sun on their face, you know, have a hot chocolate, have a hug. It's all that really, really simple stuff that people are looking forward to doing with their loved ones. And I think every person has someone in their family who is dealing with cancer. The amazing thing about becoming a stem cell donor is that you get to become one of that person's team. They're not alone anymore. When your immune system is fighting blood cancer, any kind of cancer, it must be such a lonely journey. So when you get that phone call, you actually become someone's wingman or wingwoman, and they're not alone anymore. 